could see where people live here. So how many of you live in Chicago? Okay, and how many live, where are the rest of you live? Suburbs? Champagne. Champagne, okay. So we got three Champagne. Suburbs. Suburbs, okay. Um, do the three of you live in the same suburb? What suburb do you live in? Downers Grove. Downers Grove? Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. So Naperville and Downers Grove are so close. Yeah, right. yeah. I don't know where Liberty Bell is. So I don't know much about the geography of Chicago. Um, I assume, based on this map, it's on the back of the map. Yes, but that's just Chicago. Oh, okay. it's not the suburbs. But it's broken up into a bazillion neighborhoods. Um, 77. Okay, so I, I was thinking I would go over um, how to how to use the local wiki software, like how to interact with it, how to do different things really quickly, um, and make sure everyone kind of understands that. And then I was thinking that it would be cool if we um, broke off into groups based on where we live, and each I set up a scratch pad site like Chicago.localwiki.org, um, and we could each. Uh, each group make just a page about the neighborhood you live in, and then put your name down on the page, and then create a Google or Facebook group to facilitate continued uh, involvement, potentially to create a project for your neighborhood. Because uh, that's probably all we really have time for. And then answer any questions, uh, any practical questions uh, about anything that anyone has. So let me just show you So this is, uh, this is the Triangle Wiki. Um, there is, it kind of lays out oddly because the screen had to shrink for me to hook up the projector. But front and center, we put this thing in the front, center of the front page, which basically encourages people to go and create a page. It says, I want to make a page about it. We did that because the most common thing people had a problem with was like not knowing how to make a new page. Um, and inviting people to do that, we thought was really cool. Uh, or really useful. And so they have a like pretty well laid out front page. We highlight, uh, I guess, some interesting pages here, and then just they have little news items. Um, when working on a new project, especially if you look at something like, uh, so there's the Dent Wiki, which is uh, has an even more extensive front page. Uh, they have like this, this big list that breaks down all these different things in the community. So you've got weekly events, you've got bars and bicycles, things to do and so forth. Um, what we try to tell people is don't, don't try to look at this and, and work from the idea of starting with something like this and building it out, because it can seem intimidating. Instead, just create things that you think are interesting, like a park or a person or a controversy. Uh, and then you can build out some organization for people. Almost everyone who ends up going to Triangle Wiki or Denton Wiki or Davis Wiki ends up going there because they search for something on Google, typically, or someone shared something on Facebook or Twitter. Most people don't go to the front page, and if they do, they'll probably search for something rather than look for it over here. But some people do find it easier to, to look at a sort of a manual, old school style taxonomy. So I'm just going to mess up the triangle wiki here. <laughs> so let's make a page. Um, so I'm going to just make a page about a park. Um, I'll call it my favorite park, something like this. So I can, I can either type something in here onto the front page, because there's this big create page button, or on sites that haven't set up their front page yet to look like this. Like for instance here, if I go to cabo.localwiki.org, which was just a basic uh, instance I set up. Um, um, this doesn't have the front page though. So you can just always search up here and then create the page just with this button over here. So actually, it might be a better idea to do it on this site. So why don't I, why don't I just make a page about uh, what's, a, what's a neighborhood in Chicago? Pilsner? Pilsner. 
P-I-L-S-E-N. Like this? Yep. Okay, so pills in. So I type it in. There's nothing here, so it doesn't find any search results. But if I did search on here, so the search and creating a page thing are intermingled. <clears throat> and that's to prevent or encourage people to, to search for something as they create, because sometimes it's already there. So for instance, if I search uh, or if I search for parks on the Triangle Wiki, I find a bunch of parks here. And I can you know, just click on them and pull them up. So let's here make this Pilsen page. And so I see this prompt here. I just click Create This Page. And then it again kind of prompts me here to ask me <coughs> to use a potential template. And templates are, they're just basically pages that are already there um, that have a special name. So in the case of like the business template here, it's just a page on this local wiki called templates slash business. And so you can edit the template, but the idea is when I select this business thing, what it does is it just pre-populates the page with the actual content from that template. So it has, it just has some stuff in there already, but I can go back and just create it without anything in there. So, what is Pilsen? What characterizes Pilsen? It's a largely Mexican community area of Chicago. Mexican? Yes. And would you call it a neighborhood? Yes. Yeah. So, that's really all I have to write at first. It doesn't have to be an extensive page. It can just start out really, really small. So I can just make this page and then I just press save. And so then the next thing that happens here is it asks me to create a map, if I want to create a map. So I can just click on create a map, and then it will take me to, So I'll just do it. Oops. I'll make it here on the. Uh, I'll show you an example. Sorry. Just pick something. So this is just a zoomed out view. I'm going to fix the map in a second here because there is a, a bug on our server. Um, so this is the the map editing interface that appears, and. Um, I can decide to make a point if I want to make a point, so if it's just a particular location. Uh, but neighborhoods aren't, aren't just points. So I can clear that out by clicking the, the broom icon here. Or I can make a line, like for instance, if I wanted to talk about uh, a particular trail, um, I, could, I could draw the line. And I just sort of draw it, and I click. And to end the line, I click twice. And then, I could also draw an area, which would be more appropriate for a neighborhood. So let's intentionally draw sort of the wrong area, because I don't know anything about Chicago. So I can just sort of draw this, and it's, so it's a little polygon thing, and it's, it's just like you, you can draw whatever you want, and then when you want to end it, you double click. And then you click on it after you've already drawn it in, and you can grab the edges and kind of move it around. And between every, little point is this thing in the middle that you can then bend and then more of these appear so you can get more and more precise if you want. So I can say, okay, well this is the neighborhood, just as I wanted to draw it. Um, <laughs> totally accurate, right? Can you search by address? So the address searching thing we have not yet added because there are, um, there's a, a really good one that Google provides. Uh, it's against their rules to use it without a Google Map. Okay. And so we, we were trying to, we haven't added that because we're looking for a, a one that works really well. If they don't work very well, they're really frustrating for people. Because okay. they need to be able to, you need to be able to like leave out street or avenue right. or like put an ampersand instead of like and and that sort of thing. So, but that is, that is definitely coming. So I, I'm just going to save this here. Assuming I might not be on the internet. Oh, wait, there I am. So now I have this big, perfect map. And so up at the top of the local wiki, there's these top tabs. And so one of the top tabs is map. And I'll 
show you a good example here. If I go to the SF wiki and I click on map, because there's a lot more here, there is a map of San Francisco and it has all the major things filled in. And as I zoom in, more things come into view. And what's cool about this is that I can look at this and I can see that this is Golden Gate Park here. And I can click on Golden Gate Park and then it'll show me the pages that are inside of Golden Gate Park that are in the view. So like here I can see that this path passes by, there's this music concourse here, and all these other things. So I can say, oh cool, what's music concourse? And I can click on that. And, uh, and I can read about how this is a, a thing inside of Golden Gate Park. And so because of, because of the geographic stuff all stacks together, we can, we can provide information you wouldn't normally be able to do. Like, so for instance, what we will eventually have is like, for instance, if you're looking at, um, so let me click back on the map, go to Golden Gate Park. And maybe I just want to go to Golden Gate Park, so I can click on that. So what we can do is we can put, so like right here, someone edited this page and added these links to these different pages of uh, things that are inside of the park. And because we have this geographic information, we could actually do this automatically. We could say, these are the things that are inside. And we haven't added that yet because we want to make sure that it's really simple to do that. So let's go back to our, our portable map here. And um, so one thing that's, that's, so there's these tabs up here. There's the front page tab, which is just the front page. There's a people tab, which hasn't been created yet. The idea is you can make a page about the people that contribute to the local wiki project. And then there's this page, Recent Changes. And Recent Changes is a list of all of the things that have happened, all of the edits that have been made. So on the Triangle Wiki here, on the Recent Changes page, there's um, a bunch of things on here. So like here, someone has edited the EV charging station location, so electric vehicle charging. And here they wrote a comment, remove duplicate convention center. So I can go and click on this button here, changes. And once it loads, I think it's, I'll show a different example because the screen is too scrunched up here. Um, so I'll go to Denton instead. So if I go to the recent changes page here on Denton, I can see Okay, so apostrophes are still cool kids. So I can click on this and see what they changed. And so it'll show me the page, both versions here, and then it'll highlight, okay, well they changed it to having an apostrophe. Big deal, right? But I can also just click this review changes thing and it takes me right down there. And I could also, if I wanted to be really cool about it, just use the arrow keys immediately to toggle between. So if you're a power user and you just want to keep, keep watching what's going on really, really uh, quickly, you can do that. The other thing is that when you're viewing the page, so here's this donut page that this person made. So there's these two big buttons, edit, which we saw. When we click on edit, it takes us uh, into this, this editor where we can change the page content. And then there's another button, info. And info shows me it's like the recent changes page, but it's just for this page. So it's all of the changes that, is, that have been made to this page, and it shows me who made the change. So Rich made a change here. He said uh, he didn't leave a comment. So if we want to see what did, what did Richard change here, so we can just click here and then click here. So we want to compare these two, uh, and then we click on compare to see what was changed. And then I can scroll down if I wanted to. Uh, or I could press this button here, review. It would show me, oh, well, this, this giant image of a donut thing, he removed. And he probably removed it because it was too promotional or something like that. But he did leave a comment when he, when he edited it, so I couldn't tell. So if I, um, so let's go back to our, our Chicago map that we made here. Uh, fills in. I think that the map is okay. So, oh, there you go. It's working now. Okay, so, so we have this overview map, and so normally it's not red. There's an issue that I need to fix. Um, but 
So this is totally wrong, right? We want to fix this map, um, but we can we can wait on that. But let's fix um, some things here. So let's let's link. We want to make pages about other neighborhoods here. So I can just make a link here, um, and I don't know what I want to call this page, but neighborhood sounds pretty good. So I'll just or maybe neighborhoods. So I just write the name of the page I want to link to, uh, and then it turns blue in here. Uh, I can't click on it like a link, it's just, it's just editing there. Uh, and then maybe I want to add a picture, or maybe I want to, so there's, there's a bunch of other buttons up here, right? So these are just your normal bold, italic, underlying buttons. Uh, this is for headings, so if I want maybe a history head or something like this, I could type in there. And then that has a different, a different appearance, and I can change that around. Uh, this is not a very used icon. It's uh, like a link, except it's inside of the page. It's called an anchor. Uh, this is for images. This is for files. Uh, this one is to create a table. So if I wanted to create a table of information, uh, this one is a horizontal line. Uh, these are, uh, if I wanted to make a bulleted list or a numbered list, uh, I could do that. Just undo this. Um, I can also change the alignment of text, so I could just double click on it. It's just like a word processor would be. It's, it's pretty, it should be pretty familiar. Um, one thing that is different than a word processor, though, is uh, this button here, which is this green thing, which are plugins inside the page. And so these are kind of more special things. Um, you can include a page in another page to save, uh, save time or reuse things. You can also embed. Uh, so if I wanted to put in a YouTube video, um, I could just paste in the YouTube embed code into here. So why don't we, why don't we do that? So why don't we find um, a video on Pilsen? So let's go to YouTube. So here's this video on YouTube, and I just click share, and then I click on embed, and you get pretty good at figuring out where these embed buttons are. And so then I then just paste in this embed code into here, press save, maybe give it some space here, um, and then just save this page. And it's going to give this thing as my flash of the date. And then there's the video on the page. Um, it's just just like anything else. And so What's interesting now is that this link that I made uh, has dots on it, which means the page doesn't exist yet that it links to. So it tells people that they, they should make a page for it. Um, and I can also look on the recent changes page that there has been a change made. And I can click on the change button and see that I added this, this stuff here. So um, what else is kind of a major thing? So there's another thing, um, which is tags down here. So tags are um, just simple little labels. So I could type in a uh, tag neighborhood. Maybe, um, I, don't, I don't know what else um, would be good here. So I could just save that. And this is not a very <coughs> exciting um, wiki because it doesn't have anything in it. But I can look on triangle here. And uh, let's go to this front page. Let's go to Greenways or something. So if I'm if I'm viewing this page about this Greenway, uh, and I go down to the bottom, there's this tag Greenway. I click on that, and then I have this map of uh, all the different Greenways here, and I can click on one and see where it is, and I can see all the, the things that are Greenways. Uh, and so then this is one of the green ones here. So why don't I um, fix this map thing? Because I think it would be good to um, to do that. But why don't we, I guess, get into groups based on where we live. Um, so everyone who's in Chicago, maybe the side of the room, um, all the people in the suburbs over here, <laughs> Champaign folks over here. Yeah. Quick, quick question. Um, can besides checking, like just going back and revisiting a page to see what changes have been made on it, can someone follow? Is there a follow option that's to get notification whenever it's updated? Yeah. So 
we, um, large, like Wikipedia has something like that, because um, it's really big. We kind of want most people to watch, like the, the projects are usually smaller, so we want people to kind of just watch almost everything. But if you, we, we are going to add a thing where you'll get an email if you like start a page or something like that. Right now, there, there's not a way to do that. You can either come back and check, or you can add it to like Google Reader or eReader. Uh, and see when there's been updates. And you can also, every page, um, it's easier to see in Firefox, but there's that recent changes page, which has a feed, so you can subscribe to that feed. There's also, for every single page, there's a feed for those pages. So if you were really you know, good at using Google Reader or something like that, you could just add those in as feeds and watch those if you wanted to. So, no one else hears from Champagne. So, we've got a list. We've got a list of passwords here that folks can use to access Wi Fi. Who needs a password? For a laptop? I've got one. You got a password too? Yeah. Should we stop that? Stop it? Yeah. Yeah, what we can